Euzubillahimineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Session, I'm going to develop a basic model in Amos. Now, as we all know, and as I have shown or discussed in previous lectures, that in structural equation modeling, a model is actually divided into two separate models or sub-models. There are measurement models and then there are structural models. So whenever you are using SEM or structural equation modeling, in your analysis, you will have measurement model and structural model. Now, measurement model is used to assess the quality criteria of the constructs, that is, the reliability and validity of the constructs. Now, once the measurement model is assessed, the next step is that we proceed to the structural model. Now, where in structural model, what happens is that one assesses the relationship between two different constructs or maybe two, three, four or all the constructs in the study. So structural model is actually concerned with assessing the path or significance of the path or the structural relationship between different variables. The structural model is concerned with the influence and significance between constructs. The term full structural model means that the measurement and the structural relationship of each construct are included in the model testing. An important terminology is parameters and you will come across this term a lot in IBM SPSS AMOS. Now the term parameter indicates the size and nature of relationship between the two objects. Now here you will have a parameter estimate and here you will have parameter estimates. Now they can be fixed to a constant or they can be estimated freely in the data. Now when we are estimating our measurement model, one of the indicator or the parameter for one of the indicators is fixed while others are estimated freely. Now a parameter estimate will take place on the measurement level with the indicators and error terms as well as on the structural level between the constructs. So here you will see your parameter estimates and on the measurement level you will see the parameter estimates here and with the error terms as well. The sample model in AMOS. For this particular model I've got a very simple model on servant leadership. Now servant leadership cannot be measured directly. So instead, the servant leadership construct is measured using seven items in the questionnaire. Now if you want to learn more about AMOS, you can refer to these books. Now we are going to practically look into AMOS, how to develop this model in AMOS. So in order to open AMOS, what you need to do is just go to start and press or rather search AMOS and you will find IBM SPSS AMOS 28 graphics. Now, this is the app I'm interested in. There are others as well, but for now, I'm only interested in this one. So you press it. Now, here is your IBM SPSS 28 graphics. So here are your menu items. And we will use these as we go along. Now, this is your canvas where you draw your model. And these are the different tools that we are going to use to develop our model. Now here are different windows. Now this one, if you want to switch between your input model and output model, if you've got groups in your data, these are the different models that you may be testing. These are the parameter formats, whether you want standardized or unstandardized. This is your computation summary. And this window here will show all the files in the current directory or rather all the AMOS models in the current directory. Now the first step is to import data into your AMOS software. So in order to do this, I'm going to click this button here, select data file. So once you click it, it will ask you for the location of data file. In order to give it the location, you have to click file name. Now locate the file. Where is your file? In my case, my file is here. And see it's loaded 318 just press ok we are going to use others other options later now where is my data in order to see your data you just need to go into list variables in the data set and it will show you all the variables in your data set now moving on the next step is to develop or build our model now in order to develop or build our model what you need to do is there are two different options that one can use. Here is one, you draw the latent variable with the indicators. Here are the other options. You can draw the unobserved latent variable 
and then draw its indicators. I'm going to look into both of them for now. So let's look at the easier manner in which you can draw your model. So select this option here and what you can do is just click it and it will show you or it will give you the latent variable or unobserved variable. Now I want indicators with it as well. So hover your mouse on this latent unobserved variable and it will turn to red. Now how many indicators do I want? I want seven indicators. So I'll press it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now I've got seven indicators. And I've got these arrows from unobserved latent variable to the indicators. And these are my error terms. Now the next step is to add these indicators onto this model. Now before I do that, I just want to rearrange this model. Now in order to rearrange this model, what I need to do is I just want these indicators here to be on the left side. So in order to do this, what I'll do is I'll press this button here. Rotate the indicators of the latent variable. So this toolbar option, you press it and then you bring your mouse over on your unobserved variable. Just click it one, two, three and it's there. Now I want to move this particular model to the center of the canvas. Now to do so, you have to use this button here, move objects toolbar button or toolbar option. So if you click it, what happens is you can move it. But the problem is you are only moving the unobserved latent variable and you are not moving the other indicators and error terms. In order to do this, you have to preserve the symmetries. So preserve the order or preserve the arrangement. So click on it. Make sure your move objects option is also selected or clicked and now you can move it. Let's add the variables. So you click the variable or indicator, you drag it and drop it onto the indicator. But make sure that when you're dropping it, it is red so that you're dropping it into the indicator and not creating a separate indicator. Let's add two three similarly we'll add four five six and seven now let's name this latent variable here so you double click it you just write servant leadership there is no ok button here you just need to press cross because it's already there so now what about these these are your error terms you can manually name them, but the easier way is just go to plugins and name unobserved variables. Now look here, as I said that you fix one of the estimates and the rest are freely calculated based on, on or as reference to the one indicator. So now since we developed this model using this option, draw a latent variable or add an indicator to the latent variable, so it was already there. But if you build it manually using these two options, then you will have to add the parameter. How do you add the parameter? Just double click this arrow. Go to parameters and add regression weight. So parameter name or its parameter value. Now you can do it on any one of them, but normally it's done on the first one or the last one. So how do you run the model? But before running the model, we need to have some analysis properties. Now I'm going to look into these analysis properties in coming videos. And we are going to look into other options as we go along uh, the course or the series of lectures. Normally in output, we select standardized estimates and modification indices or correlation of estimates, square correlation. But for now, let's only use these three. There's no OK button. You just need to press cross. Let's run the model. So you calculate estimates. The file is in the directory. MOS does not have permission. So what you need to do is you need to first save your file in the, in the directory that you've got permissions to use. So just click file, save. Let's name it first model. FM 
amw is the input file format just press save now you can click calculate estimates and the calculation is being done you can see the calculations here you can see your parameter formats here you can see your model is okay you do not have any groups so just group number and there is one file in the directory which is obviously this file so where are my outputs where are my loadings so you can click your view the output path diagram and you can see here your unstandardized estimates so in order to change this into standardized estimates you can click here and now these are your factor loadings so this is how you develop a very basic model using this particular option and this is how you run the model now let's develop a model using this option unobserved variables and draw observed variables or its indicators so in order to delete this model from here what i'll do is i'll click this erase objects option and click here and you can remove them easily just make sure that they are red in order for them to be removed so let's draw our unobserved latent variable click here drag and drop or maybe just click so it will obviously create the latent variable i just only need one so i'll remove the other one let's move this here now i need seven indicators one two three four five six seven so the first one you draw and then just keep pressing or clicking uh, onto the white can canvas and it will draw a box of a similar size as you drew the first one now let's arrange it one two three four five six and seven now let's move this box here now let's draw our path path from your latent variable to your indicators so just drag your path from your latent variable to your indicators well, these arrows don't look good so what i need to do is i need to touch up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do or use this touch up a variable option click on it and now press or click on your latent variable make sure it's selected by showing on the red outline and look at this now now you can click on here click touch up doesn't look very good so you can manually select it as well just make sure you've selected this move objects and now i'm going to move this single arrow so i'm just not going to preserve the symmetries just move it here like this now your model is more or less ready but there are no error terms you need to add error terms so just click on in here this is your error term here add a unique variable to an existing variable just click on it here 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 on each one of them now the variables are added now let's move these error terms to the left so you click here and let's click here here make sure that when you are moving a single object within the model you do not preserve the symmetries here here you can move it here and similarly do for all of them now you can touch up as well just to make sure that it's uh, so your model is more or less ready obviously it's not that neat so obviously i encourage using this option so you can now add the variables just simply add the variables as we did earlier make sure it's selected when you are dropping it so all the seven variables are in there just rename this one go to text sl make sure you rename these error terms go to plugins name unobserved variables and now simply you can run this model but there is one problem you have to fix one of the parameters because that serves as a reference point so go to parameters what you can do is just simply double click this arrow here and in the parameters 
add regression weight as 1 cross and now you will see that your model will run fine and you can view the output let, just let me do it again you can view the output by clicking this view text obviously we are going to discuss the output in coming videos i hope this video would have helped you understand how to develop a very basic model in amos in the next video i'm going to have a pool of latent variables or more than one construct and we are going to develop a measurement model for more than one construct and analyze the output as well thank you very much